Welcome back. Let's talk about the media layer, which is the next topic of the iOS architecture. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure to also subscribe to this course on Mobile Hacking Lab so you get access to the full content, the workbooks, quizzes, etc. Now let's continue. The media layer is comparable with the core services layer. It contains frameworks with APIs you can use as a developer if you want to build an app on iOS or macOS or any other OS from Apple. And the media layer contains, for example, a core graphics framework, which you can use to render and create 2D animations. And it contains a core animation framework which you can also use to create animations it contains an audio video foundation which you can use for playback of audio and video and also for recording and processing it contains a core image framework for images processing now let's look into the documentation of apple again so if you look into the documentation of uh, Mac OS X, it contains also some more details, for example, about which image and audio and video formats are by default supported by those frameworks. So again, I would also recommend to look into this documentation. So for example, about this audio video framework, you can also look into more details. So if you want to build a video player, for example, you can use this AFA audio player within your application. And also there are credibilities related to this media layer. So for for example, if we look into this article, so this one looks interesting, right? It is an out of bounds write issue in an open source library for decoding a specific video format and iOS and iPad OS are affected because this is used in the core media framework. Core media is also one of these frameworks used in the media layer. And in this case, it is an open source library. It is even reported by Google, by Google Project Zero. You can also look up the details of this bug, which was eventually something in the C code of a video LAN decoder library but also within iOS in the deepest layer there is C code which also can cause memory corruption bugs like this but this was in short about the media layer now the last layer we are going to talk about is the Cocoa Touch layer and the application layer so hope to see you in the next video